Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. These Sunday podcasts are for me as well. You know what? And I know many people tune in uh, for, you know, whatever wisdom I have to bestow on any of my channels. And, you know, many people have told me they got something from my Sunday morning simulcast, right? They'll say, you know, they, they call it the good word or they'll say I say it what they needed to hear. But for real, these Sunday podcasts are for me as well. Now, I know, look, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not going to be modest in this. I know a lot. I know a lot. I have knowledge in a lot of areas. I have wisdom in a lot of areas. But it wasn't a wisdom that, you know, just popped up. You know, I just snapped my finger and all of a sudden I had that wisdom. I had to learn things the hard way. Think about it. I had to learn things the hard way. You know, I had to have my failures in life. And if anybody say they haven't failed at something in life, they haven't lived life. So I've had my failures, I've had my setbacks, I've had my disappointments, I've had my heartbreaks, you know, you know, I've been, shoot, I might have dumped some women, but they've dumped me, you know, I've, shoot, I've had a job, couple jobs, shoot, at least one job fired on, another of a couple jobs, they were just like, hey, you know, uh, we, we trying to get rid of you, you know. <laughs> so I, I've seen a lot, you know, I've seen a lot, you know, had everything from, you know, living in an expensive condo to, um, you know, fixing up a house to living in somebody's basement. So I've gone through a lot of all of this stuff. And, you know, I still have my challenges now. Admittedly, I'm very successful. You know what I'm doing, at least successful for Rob, you know. It's, you know, making decent money, working to make more, right? You know, things going pretty well for me. I have some, I have a, a lot of control over my life not to be a billionaire. But even then, there's still a challenge. We always have a challenge. There's still a challenge we got to deal with, you know. There's always, always, always a challenge, I don't care who you are, what you got, how much money you have. Like, there's people who make money, and they feel like, well, if I just make money, everything will be all right. I'll be able to get the maid. I'll, I'll be able to live where I want. I'll be able to buy the clothes I want. be able to get the car. Yet, how many people who got money, and they might even have, let's add some more to it. They got looks. got a nice body. Might even have some popularity. They look like they got everything, but then you find out they depressed behind closed doors. You know, because they still don't have what they want. This people, I had a mentor. He was telling me about, uh, I ain't going to call the guy's name, but he said this guy was a billionaire. But because of some of the things this man did, he didn't really enjoy his own money. You know, and you have that, right? I mean, how many people have, um, you got many men who are making a lot of money out here, but because, you know, they're making big money. But because they have some health issues, they might not. They might have erectile dysfunction or something. So they got all this money, all this power, but they can't enjoy some bump, something that a homeless dude on the street can enjoy, which is the uh, you know, you know, sex with a like a beautiful woman. Think about it. We we all have something. You know, I use that relationship example, but you know, just in life, just get back to that whole thing of somebody having everything but being depressed or being insecure. See, the only difference between somebody who has a lot of money and somebody who doesn't, if they have some mental issues, they can just pay for better therapists. That's the, that's the only difference. A lot of people just have to suffer. A lot of people can hide it. You know, when you look at it like, uh, you'd be surprised how many like drug users are making a lot of money. I've met, uh, because of some work I used to do, I met a lot of drug users who were like upper middle class whites. Now, people would say, oh, well, they had white privilege and all of that stuff. But, you know, when they strung out on heroin or something, they ain't thinking like that. So we all have something. We Every every single person. And, you know, when I do these podcasts, some of this stuff is to work out my own stuff. Like one of my issues, and I'll say it because I just talked about this on my Deep Thought channel, was using my gifts. There was a point I wasn't using my gifts. And, in fact, I said that in a video. I wasn't doing videos, I wasn't doing podcasts like this, you know. 
I ain't think I could. I ain't think I could do podcasts or videos or anything. And it's ironic for somebody who's actually uh, done seminars standing in front of people. You know, I didn't think so. But I had to work out the issues that were preventing me from doing it. You know, and I'm still a work in progress. You know, I, one of my mentors is a, a is a, a priest in his 70s, right? He's a, um, you know, he's a priest in his 70s, uh, very well known in the D.C. area. I'm not going to call him out here. But um, anytime this man in his 70s, who in ways he probably don't even know was like a, a father figure to me, if he can, if he can say, "Look, I'm a work in progress." I mean, who am I to say I'm not working it out? And see, sometimes, you know, in working in something out for myself, I'm like, "Well, somebody else might be going through the same thing." Like every single podcast is either something. Um, well, a lot of it is something I've gone through at one point in life. You know. You know, I like the gratitude thing. There was there was a time in my life I took stuff for granted. You know, I took stuff. I just knew it. It was like a point in my life. I remember when I was younger. It was like whatever I touched turned to gold. I've, I mean, I've had periods like that. But you know, there was a point when everything was touched and turned to gold. I appreciated when it started turning to lead. <laughs> I appreciate the gold part, right? You know, so I was like, didn't save up, didn't save up for a rainy day. All of a sudden, some stuff hit. All of a sudden, it changed up. And I was like, dang, I, I am not winning, right? I am not winning. So, you know, I've gone through it. I'm not going to act like, look, I know a lot of people, they listen to my stuff. You know, they follow me. They follow. I got people who follow me on all my platforms and hit me up privately, right? You, people who donate everything. Don't think for a second. I don't know where you've been or been sitting there. We're working on it now. Now it's like even even now where I'm going now. Now it's a different it's a different set of things I'm dealing with. You know, I'd rather be dealing with it than some stuff I dealt with in the past. Well, it's still you. It's still a different thing. You know, like I give you an example, right? You know, a lot of do a lot of men. Many of the men who follow me are trying to get multiple women, right? But I've been there and done that. I've been there and done that now. It's like, Rom's going in the other direction now. It was just like, you know, you get up there and then it's like, wait a minute. You you don't have that same drive just to be with multiple women. You start thinking, okay, quality. So all of a sudden it's like, you, you're a lot pickier than I might, like I'm a lot pickier than I would have been at 33. A whole lot pickier. Because I'm looking at things differently, then that's another set. Because then it's like, okay, well, how do you find that specific person, you know, who can fit into what you want to do in life? So that's something. That's something right there. So it's like, you know, it could be anything. It, it could be anything. But sometimes when I do the, uh, really all the time I do one of these things, it's like, all right, I've been through that, went through that then. Let me talk about it. Oh, wait, this might be something I'm going through right now. And sometimes even, you know, people, y'all know my style. I'll give y'all a title and then I'm, I'm just flowing. I'm just flowing with it, right? Sometimes I had a question for something and it comes out there. It comes out. It comes out for me. Sometimes it, Sometimes this is, I mean, in many ways this is therapeutic for me. That's why I do it. I mean, you know, I don't get as many views on these videos and I have them on all my channels, like on the um uh, you know, the Sunday morning soundcast, I don't care. Because my feeling is, you know what, this is helping me. And because it's helping me, it can help somebody else. I want you to think about that. That's some powerful stuff. Powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. Right? So just understand how that rolls and everything. So anyway, just understand. Yes, I, I, I appreciate all the support I get on these Sunday uh morning simulcast i appreciate every every single one of y'all shoot even the trolls sometimes but understand as i'm helping y'all i'm helping myself as well so anyway that's it for today peace and blessings keep rising and transforming